What's up everybody? Courtney Morse, Natural Wellness Physiotherapy. Again, talking on our series of questions that I get asked all the time. Um, and again, if you have questions, drop them down below. I'll, I'll be happy to shoot a video and, and answer, uh, answer those questions the best that I can. Um, the next one we're going to get into is one that um, uh, is going to be a little bit controversial. It may uh, piss you off. It might piss off your, your podiatrist, your physical therapist, your doctor. Um, uh, and certainly maybe some people that uh, are involved in the footwear industry and things like that. And, and the question is, do arch supports work? Do I need to have arch supports? You know, maybe I have heel pain, maybe I have, you know, Achilles tendonitis, whatever it may be. What's the first step that I do? And for a lot of people it is going and getting, you know, some kind of arch support, right? And I, my, my take on this is uh, an arch support should be like a cast, right? It should be, you know, a temporary resolution, right? If you don't have some type of major foot deformity, you know, some kind of club foot or some kind of leg length discrepancy or something like that, um, then the arch support can certainly provide, you know, a little bit of temporary temporary relief. Um, there are a lot of people, patients of mine that'll say, yeah, I went to, you know, get this custom arch support cost me $1,400 and I put it on and I hated it immediately and that was that. And you know, there's so many different things that we can look at um, that cause heel and foot pain rather than just the heel itself, right? Um, that's taking a very pinpoint look at a, sometimes a bigger problem. So, um, you know, my preference always is, you know, and you, you can check this on yourself, is if you are standing and your feet collapse inward, you know, meaning that you your arches are collapsed down on the ground, your ankles are rolled inward, um, then that is for sure, um, you know, something that you want to address. And if you lift your foot up off the ground and now you have an arch there all, all of a sudden, this is actually a strength issue, right? Those intrinsic muscles in your foot, the, the muscles that create this arch for you, they're weak and they're, and they're, uh, they're gonna remain weak as long as you're wearing that arch support. Again, think about if you put your arm in a cast. If you've ever broken your arm or your elbow, you put your arm in this cast and it assumes this position for you know four to six weeks or something like that you cut the cast off what does your arm look like right it's a it's disgusting it smells terrible and dead skin everywhere but b you know all of those muscles have atrophied and they've essentially you know weakened themselves to the point of non-function that's essentially what happens to the muscles in the bottom of your feet so there's some strengthening exercises that you can be doing and you can at any age rebuild the arch in your foot. It is a strength issue. Strength takes some time, but it's certainly a feasible thing to do. So um, if you have questions about that, if you have high dollar arch supports and you're still dealing with, dealing with foot pain, um, if you uh, have you know, tried other versions of you know, podiatry and things like that and not have had good luck with it, come check us out. You know, there's uh, certainly a lot of things that, that cause foot pain that aren't necessarily initiated at the foot. So if you have questions or anything like that, you know, and you want to jump on a call, uh, you know, my number is 316-290-9158. Jump on a call. I'll be happy to answer any of those questions that you have right away. So until next time, Courtney Morse, Natural Wellness Physiotherapy.